Schrodinger's cat. If an internal Geiger counter detects radiation, the flask is shattered, releasing the poison which kills the cat. I love when you surprise me like this. Anything for you. <laughs> 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 Go see who it is. I know you see me. It's a lady. So? You like ladies. Apparently. Shall I let her in? No. Oh, mom, mom, oh, are you proud of your girl? Proud of your girl. Say hi to her. You might not see her for a while. <laughs> Uh, I bet you the sky is blue. Why don't you have a seat? Nope. I bet yes. I can eat more cat food than you. How old are you, Bridget? Nope. I'm 16. Your first name? Ethan. How old are you, Ethan? 15. Go to high school, Ethan? No. Where do you go to? Junior high school? Yes, ma'am. Are you one? Now, fellow scientists. Your projected feelings as an observer are affecting the very nature of your experiment. Stop it. The time has come to check in on the cat. Um, hi, do I know you? How's uh, Walgreens treating you? It's good. I'm sorry, but do I and know? And who's this? You can tell me you're seeing someone. Hello? Well met, fair maiden. Please enter. Would it be too forward of me to say that I would love to make a collage of your face out of dried pasta? How, Schroeder? Uh, ask uh, Schrodinger. He works for Cat CSI. Is there something wrong with you? Did you miss a round of medication today? She'll take care of you. She's real sweet. Of course, in various alternate timelines, the cat did, in fact, die. <coughs> Brutally. Well done, Jake. Your thought experiment lives to see another day. On the morning from a boat. Over around, looking a little bang to find the ground. There, all the crap in the key, those magnificent men and the flying machine.